to church again? Hey, I'm giving my time and I'm out. But if you find yourself delighting yourself to worship God, you know, you delighting yourself in, and just praying to God, singing praises, it just feels good being doing what God said to do. Helping people, you know, you help you, you like helping people. It's not a burden to you. It's not like, ah, lady, these people just can't. But if you have it, you, you don't mind giving it. Here, take some more. Eat till you're full. You, you got enough? You don't be looking out stingy. God, you go and get some up. You know? You might go, no, hey, hey. Give it. I'm, it's God's will that we all love one another. You don't get tired of loving because people can hurt you so bad. Amen. But you just say, hey, I'm through with you. I'm done. I ain't going to do nothing else for you. I don't even love you no more. I can't stand you. I hate you. Stay away from me. But no, 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 no. God said you delight yourself in loving even the unlovable. You know what? I'm going to love you anyway. I see you hate on me. I see you hate on me for no reason. I didn't do you nothing. And you just hating on me? But guess what? Because God said, I'm going to love you anyway. And I'm going to love you for real. I'm going to love you for real from my heart. And you delighting yourself in doing that because you know you're pleasing your father. He said, if you delight yourself in God, he will give you. Not even just your needs, but the desires of your heart. How many of y'all want to live in that life right there? I, I think about that song, I like living this kind of life. Oh, I'm living the best of life. And that's what happened to you. If you find yourself delight in the Lord and all that he said do, you can be living that type of life. Amen. Commit all your ways, everything, everything unto the Lord. Because his way is always the best way. He's going to take care of you and he's going to provide. And I'm going to leave y'all with this. I'm going to leave y'all with this. This is the way you can apply this to your life. You can leave here. And in this prayer, when you say, give us this day, our daily bread, when you say, God, take care of me. God, just fix this. Lord, I love you. I put it all in your hands. Everything that I'm going through is all in your hands. Here it is. I know you're going to provide for me. Can anybody in here really have the faith in God to say, look, I know no matter what, you're going to provide for me. Amen. Anybody in this recession that say, you know, and it's a lie to say the recession ain't hit us because we saved, sanctified, filled with the Holy Spirit. The recession has hit my household because I had my contracts saying that, you know what, John, we're going to have to do this ourselves. We're going to have to clean up these buildings, you know. We, we can't no longer have you, I mean, you, you use your service. Because we're just going to have our workers to do it. And I'm like, no, man, let me clean up the building, man. You know, are you sure? Is there another way you can cut something else off? But no, they cut us. Cut us. Cut our check down real tremendously. So the recession did hit. It did hit our household. From over 10000 a month to 600 a month. Yeah, it hit our household big time. To what I could say, you know, Lord, I, I mean... I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. But I know one thing I will not do. I won't give up. I'm going to keep on trusting you. I'm going to keep on believing in you. Now, uh, I got to the point to say, well, Lord, if we got to take baths in the pool. Okay. Right here at this church. Amen. I'm going to be all right with it. And we got to stay in church. Uh -uh. But I say, I mean, look, I, I ain't going to worry about nothing. I can't. I can't. If I gotta come to this pool, I seen it too. I see myself washing myself in this baptismal pool. Cause that's how I get, you know? When it's this, I mean, you, I mean, I don't know what you're gonna do, Lord, but I hope that you just be, keep us. Amen. We're still in our house, y'all. We're still in our house. We still you guys in the bath for your shower. You know, and not have to take a bath in this pool. But I promise you, my heart was good, Lord, whatever you say. I'm going to stay with you. Amen. I'm not going to give up. Amen. I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to take no penitentiary chances. Mm -hmm. Because that's what it comes to. Young man like me, y'all know that? You know, I ain't going to lie to you. Temptation come. Yeah. And some people be like, oh, I can't believe you thought. <laughs> Jesus was tempted. Amen. Jesus was tempted. Amen. But I thank God that I was able to pass yeah. the test. Yeah. And say, you know what? I'm going to stay with you. I'm stay with you. I don't know how this is going to turn out, but however it turn out, I'm with you. I'm with you.
and I know you with me. Turn your Bibles, turn your Bibles, because this is something you got to have. You know what I mean? We're talking about we're the children of God. Yes. We're the children of the Most High. Yes. It got to be something that you can stand on, you can believe on. If you said that you all this, I mean, you know, you said one day soon you're going to heaven when Jesus comes back. You're going to stay with him. You're going to stay on the battlefield. It, I thank God for his word. I thank God for his word. I thank God for his preachers. I thank God for all of the wonderful promises that he made to us. I thank God for his instruction. Because without it, where would we be? Philippians 4. And y'all, I didn't even try to do this. I didn't even try to bring this message this way. God brought this message out. God just flipped it right here. And as I was studying it through my meditation and all this, and not that this, this is my daddy's birthday today. This is my daddy's birthday today. The, the 20th. Amen. The opening of spring. Amen. This is his birthday today. Amen. And the sermon fall right here on his favorite scripture. Amen. I didn't even try to put it together. You know how you got to depend on the Holy Spirit, y'all. When you let the Holy Spirit lead you and guide you, he'll feed you. And I mean, it's, it's awesome. Amen. Philippians 4. 4, 5, and 6. Give us this day our daily bread, Lord. Give us this day our daily bread. Amen. Oh, yes. Philippians 4. That's it. 4, 5, and 6. Amen. Now we, we got we got the message today. Give us this day. And I hope we got it. Don't be foolish. Amen. Going out, doing it your own way. Amen. Delight yourself in the Lord. Amen. Do it his way. Don't pray no greedy prayers. And pray with wisdom. Amen. Don't, don't, I mean, don't, don't make me poor. Amen. And don't make me rich. Satisfy my needs, Lord. Amen. Just take care of my needs. I'm going to give your name praise, glory, and honor. I'm going to give you every, I don't want to defame your name. I just want to do your will. And look what we have to go on, the application. This is how you apply this to your life. Give us this day, our daily bread. Philippians 4, 4, 5, and 6 says, Rejoice in the Lord always. And again I say rejoice. Let your moderation be known. Unto all men, let everyone see that you are considerate in all that you do. Amen. Remember that the Lord is coming soon. Amen. Let your moderation be known unto all men. Amen. The Lord is at hand. Yes, Lord. Let everyone see that you are considerate in all that you do. Amen. Remember, the Lord is coming soon. Amen. Let your moderation be known unto all men. They're looking at us. They're looking at us. We call ourselves Christians. We are the children of God. We are the followers of Christ. We are the redeemed. We are the church of the living God. We are the ambassadors of Christ. When people see life, they see us. When people look at our care how much they talk about you, how much they say, they want what you got. It's a light that's shining in you. It's something that they see in you that you won't give up. I don't care how hard times get. It's something on the inside of us, y'all. Jesus said, all that you have given to me, I'm keeping them. I'm keeping them. We don't even realize it sometimes, y'all. We got a daddy that's watching over us, that's keeping us. And others will look at you and say, when you go to the other side, what you doing over here? What you doing over here? Anybody ever told you, church? You know what I'm here, little church girl? Mm -hmm. you know what you're doing over here, little church boy? Mm -hmm. Your daddy got everything you need. Mm -hmm. Man, nah, this ain't for you. Mm -hmm. This ain't for you. Amen. you this, ain't, this ain't even for you. Mm -hmm. Let your moderation be known Amen. unto all men mm -hmm. that God is at hand. Amen. He coming back soon. Yes, yes. Be careful for nothing. God's children. Don't worry about anything. Be careful for nothing. But in everything, by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests give us this day. Let your requests be made known unto God. Look what you got to do. Give us this day our daily bread. Give us this day our daily bread. That seems like to me a song. I mean, that, I mean, a prayer that you pray to God when you wake up in the morning. 
First day in the morning. Woo, it's another day. Lord, give us this day. Oh, I don't know what this day going to bring. Anybody wake up in the morning and you kind of think you know how this day going to go? And it turned out a whole nother way? It turned out a whole nother way. It's me things. You know, I wasn't expecting this. All of this. I wasn't expecting all of this. But if you can go through your day and meditation in your heart, Lord, give us this day. Amen. Our daily bread. Amen. Give us this day. Not selfish. Give me this day. Out of Let me know. No, 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 no. Give us this day. Amen. Our daily bread. Amen. Because we are the church. We are one body. Amen. We are all walking this earth together. Mm -hmm. And this is a prayer from a child to a father. Mm -hmm. So if we all praying for one another. Mm -hmm. Lord, give us this day. It's, true. it's hard out here for the church, y'all. I mean, not, I'm not saying hard, but we we in the world. We in the world. But we're not of the world. We in the world. That's true, y'all. But we're not of the world. And if we can go to God and say, Lord, give us this day our daily bread. You need to know that you don't have nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about. That you can rejoice in the Lord always and just rejoice in the Lord. Because God is good. Let your moderation be known about all men, everybody around you. Let them know. They, they can look at you. It should be something they can look at you. We can all be going through pure deep hell. But when they look at you, they see the peace of God. That passes all understanding. That's keeping your heart, your mind. You ain't going crazy. You ain't lost it. Because he's here. He's inside of us. He's at hand. And whatever we need. We don't have to worry about it. Once you bring it to God and say, Lord, you give us this day. And he, you, you depending on him, you don't have to worry about it, church. We don't have to worry about nothing. He said, don't worry about nothing. But through everything, through prayer and supplication and thanksgiving. Prayer. Give us this day. Supplication. You know, you're going to supply. You're going to supply. You're all our needs. I know that. I know you are. I know you are. I know you are. And because I know he is, with thanksgiving. Thanksgiving unto God. I already, I already have it. That's faith in God, y'all. Thanksgiving. Let your requests be made known unto God. Y'all let us be able to pray to God. No foolishness. No foolishness. With wisdom. And just bring it to him. Lord, give us this day. Our daily bread. God will. Provide. God will provide. God will provide. The doors of the church are now open. If there be anybody in here that have been living your life just worried about anything, and you thinking that it ain't gonna happen, you thinking that ain't no way it's gonna, I mean, you're gonna make it.